Hello there, my name is Tom Rondello with Jaguar Land Rover Mammoth, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the Range Rover Velar. As you can see this right here, we're gonna take this inside the car, I'm gonna show you a few things. Um, hope you uh, like what you see. First off, we're gonna show you that you have deployable door handles on the vehicle. I'm sure you saw that when you liked it. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how that operates front and back. With your key in your pocket and you press this button, the door handles will deploy. Memory seating. To set your memory, you adjust your seat controls, which are found right here, as well as your steering wheel controls, which are found, if it's power, right here, or unlocking and locking. And your side view mirror controls, which are found right here. Then you press memory, then seat one, or memory and seat two, or memory and seat three. We're in the Velar, and today we're gonna show you how to pair your phone. We're gonna to go to the phone right here, tap and connect phone, and on your phone, you're gonna to go to your Bluetooth device, scan, and search for Range Rover Velar. You'll hit connect, and then you're gonna hit the pair button on your phone and also on the Velar. How to use navigation. In the Velar, you're gonna see your navigation tab. That's found right here. You'll press that, and you're gonna see this screen where it shows you close fuel stations, as well as a small map. Over here, you've got these six boxes with a circle around them, and that gets you to this great search window. In order to go to set up your home address, you go to your destinations, home address, and then we start to fill out these areas. The first thing we'll do is hit city, and then you can type your city. I live in Brick, New Jersey. So you can see Brick Township. We hit search right here, and then you can select any of your places, Brick, you could then put your street address right here. I will put Brick Boulevard. I see Brick Boulevard, hit search again. And then you could say Brick Boulevard, et cetera, and et cetera. As soon as you finish this up, you could then hit save. And you could save it and name it as your home. Some people call it home, my crib. I even had one customer that set it up as the police station in his own town. Uh, so that way nobody could find out where he lived. Today we're going to be going over setting up Apple CarPlay in your Velar. The first thing we're going to do is go into a Velar. We're going to press the start button and also hold our brake down. That starts the car. You'll see your screens light up. Now what you're going to need to set up Apple CarPlay, if your car comes equipped with it of course, is a cable that usually comes with the phone. Some of these third-party cables don't have enough power inside them in order to actually make Apple CarPlay work. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure your screen is up here. Sweep to the left like this and you'll see Apple CarPlay. Now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna open this up and you're gonna see the USB ports. I'm gonna take my little cable here and plug it in. Okay, so now that's plugged in. Watch the screen. Here's my cable. Going into my phone. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press launch with Apple CarPlay. You'll see my phone begin to pair. And there is my navigation. You'll see my text messages and phone calls as my phone is actually appearing on here. In order to disconnect Apple CarPlay, you simply just unplug your phone and immediately you're back on the same screen. That's how you connect Apple CarPlay. The next thing we're gonna do to set up your Velar is to show you how to pair your um, garage door opener. If you look at your rear view mirror right here, there's me, hi. Um, you're gonna see these buttons underneath it. See these buttons right here? Each one of those is for a garage door. What you're gonna do is hold your control down and then press one of these buttons. You'll see that green, that orange light. That will turn green once it's paired. Then you can press this button to open your garage doors. Valet mode. To set up valet mode, you press valet mode on your screen you give it a code, any pin, you can change it anytime you want, it doesn't have to be the same one. 
You hit OK. It asks you to confirm it. You hit OK again. I don't suggest you using 1111. You'll notice your screen is now blank. I can't do anything on it without giving that PIN number. All right, so it's important to know that people can't get your home address that you just set when you're doing your navigation if you've got your valet mode. A great idea. In order to get out of valet mode, you just put that PIN back in, hit OK, and now you're out of valet mode. Control! It's getting cold in here as it is. So with climate control, you'll see that you've got two different knobs. The left knob will control the left-hand side if I press it down and then I turn the, the, volume, the knob up. To the right, of course, the temperature goes up. To the left, it goes down. Now, if I don't have the fan selected, the right one also has its own climate control. If I select the fan, this turns into the fan speed. If you want to heat your seats or cool your seats, if it's equipped, you press the outside and then you just turn the knob to the right to heat it. If your car is equipped, turn it to the left to cool it. The next thing to, the next thing to show you inside um, the climate control is really something I forgot was the vents. You can open up each of the vents just by pressing on these different fields. That'll actually put air in certain areas. To turn the power off of your air climate control, you press that button. To turn the air conditioning on, you press this button. To set up max air conditioning, you press max AC down here. Max front to frost here. Roadside assist, downward control. The LAR comes with two different steering wheels. The steering wheel controls on this one have the chrome ring on it. Chrome ring is one of my favorite things about some Velars. Um, you'll notice that the left button right here, this menu, if you press it, it turns to the OK button. It also changes your screen for driver assistance. Press OK to open. I pressed OK to open. You're going to see collision avoidance, lane keep assist settings, speed limit awareness settings, driver condition monitor. If we press OK for lane keep, you're going to see forward alert. You can uncheck or check that. That's controlled by this sensor right here behind your rear view mirror. You're gonna see sensitivity. You can actually change that how sensitive the forward alert system is just by pressing this, going in that field, normal, medium, and high. Press the left arrow right here to get out of it. Here is the driving AEB setting. So that's automatic emergency braking. Reverse traffic monitor, so you're backing up. It's actually gonna look left and right to make sure cars aren't going through. Left to get through. Lane keep assist settings are next. We'll scroll down, press the center button. Lane keep assist, you're gonna see that your steering can vibrate. Steering assist will actually torque your steering wheel. Remember when it's torquing your steering, when you're going around a corner, it's gonna to try to put your car in the center of the lane. So if you're going around a corner in the center of the lane, it might feel like it's trying to force you into the other side of traffic. Um, it's something to be aware of. If you don't like that setting to happen, go over here and press this button. It turns it off. That way, if you're feeling uncomfortable, you can. We're gonna go back out of here. You're seeing speed limit awareness. This car can actually, see that little 35 mile an hour zone? It actually looks at a satellite to know what the speed limit is in this area. And if you press this limiter button right here, it's gonna keep your car at that speed. Once I actually thought the car was broken because it wasn't gonna go any faster when I set that. Um, but you can actually turn it on and you can select its sensitivity, such as if you want to look at the traffic signs, if you want to get a speed alert if you're speeding, or if you want to actually turn on your limiter right here and say that I want to make sure that it's functioning. So you can really do a lot of cool things with that too. If you don't want to speed. Me, I speed too much. So that is driver assistance, and now you know how that functions. You have a trip set here as well just by scrolling down. Scrolling down again, it's going to show you your display settings and also your vehicle settings. So you do have choices, vehicle info, info such as uh, headlights and things to that effect. The electronic parking brake is right here. You'll notice that your car is set at park right here. If I go over here and I put my foot on the brake and I pull this up, you'll see that park is no longer lit up, which means I've released my electronic parking brake. If I push this in, you're gonna notice park is now back on. That's how you use the electronic parking brake. Well, that was the training on the Velar.
I really hope that you're enjoying your Velar. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We're always happy to go over your car again and again with you. And there's a lot of things into it. It's very technically advanced. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. Have a great day.